soon no longer be unpublished, we will see. Um, and this is from the first chapter. I think the only thing that I'll say by way of introduction is that the uh, two characters here, um, Obi and Lee Matruth, are father and son, and they live in a fictional county in the Great Smoky Mountains in western North Carolina um, called the Chota County. And this takes place um, when, well, you see. Um, yeah, I'll just jump right in and start. Uh, except for dregs, though, there was no more whiskey, so Obi ransacked the house, wasting a good five minutes before he swallowed his face. Here. He carried a six pack to the ram and tucked it behind Leek's seat. <coughs> Leek's 13, this is his 13 Expository. Beer was made of rotten grains exactly as it tasted. Lee climbed into the cab and opened one for himself and one for his father, and they drove quickly out of the cove toward the national forest, snaking across hillsides and chalking in life, throwing their empty cans out of the window. You know there's a show about us on TV? What are you talking about? I sold the rights when you were a baby. For how much money? Squandered now on drink. What show? What's it, what's it called? They drive from the they drive the hills, running from a sheriff. Father and son. Stuck some women on there too, painted the trunk or, truck orange, turned it into a car, drew a number on the side, lifted it up and set it down again in the state of Georgia, changed their names, made everybody white. I guess you didn't notice. No one knows himself when faced with his own image. I'll try to work that antenna. I lifted it every which way. I could go to someone else's house and watch the war there. Or jump ship and make some other little breath friends. I won't pull you under. Knew you wouldn't be home when I returned. Drove all over hell and back to find that thing and you were gone. Damn, the old man got home before you did. Well, he was enough. I don't be a son. I like to talk at least once a day to someone somewhere. There's the phone, I guess, at the bait shop. I can walk there. I need the exercise. I'm alone. Dad? Yes, son? Where are we going? There's the question of who I call. Dial seven numbers. I guess you'll get someone somewhere. It's enough quarters you can buy friends so long as you have Jeff. Just wanted to make you feel better. If I told you about the diseases that run in our family, Parkinson's, cancer, a great disease. But Meniere's disease, how about that one? You think it wouldn't hurt to be deaf? Can you imagine your brain blows up like a balloon, so all you hear is upside down and faint? No, I've never heard about that. You call me a liar? Say I'm Screw you. Screw you if you're doing this again. Obi jerked them onto a wayside. They had climbed a high ridge. Far below the moonlight glistened on Fontana Lake. Knowing his father well, he shut his eyes. Wind was disturbing the trees. Loons screeching in them as Obi turned the engine off and said, I've borne you into a cruel slavery. Your lot is to prevent my suicide. It's consumed your childhood. I've been selfish. I offer you these keys. You know how I feel about metaphors, but this is our life together. And so I offer these keys as a metaphor for the real ones that lock you into being with me. You can receive these and leave to live unfettered or deny them, in which case I'll stay on and care for you and you for me. And here's where the metaphor starts to collapse. It's an inverse metaphor. Rejecting the keys is accepting them because you'll keep them. Now we'll start the truck. But the converse holds true, too, because to your own life's keys, you'll hand the symbolic ones to me so I can rev the engine. And once you're safe, I'll drive off the cliff ending my misery while you walk downhill 4.7 miles, I measured it to the Exxon, where with these quarters you'll find someone who can make it happen. He dropped two coins in the keys and opened his paw. Think hard about your answer, I mean, base it not upon yourself, but me, how little I've given you, and I present myself to you literally at the end of my Now, Leap was aware his father drank himself to sleep each night, but he had never attributed Obi's erratic ways to alcohol. He knew no different man than this, and although he was scared, he displayed no fear. The Cherokee will creep in silence through the fallen leaves, not causing them to rustle. He held the ring of keys. The forest of firs surrounding them was turned by blight, and he felt that the world's suffering powered over him as one conjoined life form. There came a ripple of silver light. He never had three blank spells in a day, then again, Obi had never threatened to kill himself so many times. It was a struggle not to lead to his own death. That pent-up impulse moved into Link's hand, twisted keys off, and threw them one by one over the glove edge. He loves me, said Obi as each one fell. He loves me not. He loves me until Link held nothing but a metal piece. Well, shit, said Obi. You ever hot-wired a car? Link shook his head. Have you? Obi pried loose a panel below the wheel, squinted at the mess of wires that fell out, and spat skull into a beer pen. Look here at the four wires. 
When we touch them together, the truck can start, or we can explode, or nothing. You're good at numbers. Figure the chances. There's 24 combinations we can name for these things. That's true, Link. You're smart. Can they each happen eight times? You can die twice. If you can't figure chances, then that makes sense. Then it's just one chance that starts the engine. Then it's four percent success. And failure? Ninety-six. Death? I don't know. Do you hate me, Link? Yeah, I quit. You'd refuse your father in his time of need? You don't need shit. Well, that hurts me. I don't want to be here. Then admit you hate me, will you? Fine, I hate your guts. You're sure you mean that? I hate everything about you. Are you really? How many times do I have to say it? Just once more so I can be certain. And I've always hated you. I can tell you how many It's fine, it's fine. Good, said so Obi at last, and we'll seem like merriment. Why don't you wave bye bye to this place? Link was wincing as his father held a yellow wire to a red one. Faith had caught them. This was the end. Could have run away with Nala. Though he dead by his own hand, the warden might have let him see his mother. Too late now. His eyes fell shut, his lungs deflated, and his heart grew into a red giant for three, two, one. But then the engine turned, and Obi was free. Boom. And I'm going to stop it. Next reader from Fresh Chicken Coffee is